and axial flow compressor has an overall pressure ratio of 4.5 to 1 and a mean blade speed of 245 u is given overall rp is given each stage is 50 percent so degree of reaction is 50 percent relative angles is 30 degree for each stage that is the air angles air angle is alpha 1 is same as beta 2 because of 50 percent reaction axial flow velocity is 158 that is vf and is constant polytropic is new term here is 87 percent and calculate the number of stages required assume initial stagnation level equal to 290 so we have overall pressure ratio is 4.5 blade speed is 245 and degree of reaction is 50 percent so we have alpha 1 equal to beta 2 and alpha, alpha 2 equal to beta 1 out of that alpha 1 is given to us is 30 degree and we don't know the value of beta 1 that is alpha 2 flow velocity is given as 158 in constant and ultra is 87 percent we want to calculate number of stages and we we are given the t01 equal to 290 so basically whenever you are given the polytropic process it is basically defined as gamma minus 1 into n upon n minus 1 so using this we can find out the actual index for compression so we can directly calculate the value of t0 n dash and then we'll use this equation that is this equation so you can get the value of t0 n dash from the compressor equation and then we know the number of stages u is known vf is known so we can beta 1 is unknown so beta 2 is so first of all use this value gamma put gamma equal to 1.4 and solve for n so using this equation we can get the value of n so n will get 1.48 this value of n is always greater than gamma because this is a polytropic compression so index of polytropic compression for high speed machine is always greater than gamma that is 1.4 so you can act, you can calculate what is the actual temperature at the end of the n stage that is the stage number 10 using this equation where this value will be equals to n so is this time we are not using the compressor formula rather than we are using the index n value so basically this is ts diagram and we have number of stages like this and this one is supposed stage number 1 and this is stage initial condition so we have given this index here this one is isentropic and this process index is known to us so i am calling this value equals to t0 n dash and this value is t01 this process has index n equals to 1.48 whereas this process has index equals to n equal to gamma so we have t0 n dash divided by t01 so this one is 290 rp overall is 4.5 and value of n minus 1 is 0.48 value of n is 0.48 so we can get value of t0 n dash so we obtain the this temperature at the end of the 10 stage the actual temperature is 472.33 kelvin to solve further we'll take a we we'll go back to our formula sheet we can calculate the value of the number of stages that is this value we can calculate provided we should know the left hand side so left hand side is known to us what we don't know only is the angle beta 1 so to calculate beta 1 so we'll go by degree of reaction because that is 0.5 because vf and u is known tan beta 1 and tan beta 2 so we'll use this equation first so we have degree of reaction equal to vf divided by twice u tan beta 1 plus tan beta 2 so we have degree of reaction is 0.5 then vf is equals to 158 u is equals to 245 beta 1 we don't know beta 2 is given to us is 30 we can solve for beta 1 so beta 1 come out to be 44.22 degree now the final equation that we are going to use will equate this work done so total work done will be equal to cp multiplied by this value so we have cp multiplied by t0 n dash minus t01 number of stages multiplied by u vf tan beta 1 minus tan beta 2 multiplied by k work done factor is not known we assume 1 so put cp equal to 105 t0 n dash equal to 472 t01 equals to 290 number of stages we don't know u is equals to 245 vf equals to 158 tan beta 1 is 44.2 beta 2 is equals to given to us is 30 so we can get for number of stages so number of stages come out to be 11.98 so approximately equals to 12 stages so we have 12 stages required for this problem